presenting Insta Composer 2 from WA Production. The follow up to one of the most popular MIDI creation stations out there, Insta Composer 2 brings exciting new features and improvements to enhance your experience with more MIDI tracks, scenes, new scales, and modes. The enhanced generative coding and superior performance makes practical new ideas flow more quickly than ever before. InstaComposer 2 is a powerful MIDI generator plugin designed to revolutionize music creation, offering endless possibilities for crafting captivating melodies, phrases, riffs, and chord progressions across various genres and styles. With a versatile yet friendly interface and advanced algorithms, InstaComposer 2 lets you focus on getting ideas down fast. So let's dive in. In this project, I've got InstaComposer 2 set up as a MIDI plugin in Logic, but the plugin will run in pretty much any door, sending MIDI out to virtual instruments loaded on other tracks. Check the documentation for how to set up InstaComposer 2 with your own preferred door and instruments. In this demo, for simplicity, I've used contact with some basic instruments from the factory library and a couple of other sound banks. Each instrument is assigned to its own MIDI channel, 1 to 6, as InstaComposer 2 outputs 6 channels of MIDI, increased from the 5 of the original plugin. First off, it's worth pointing out that if you're already familiar with the functionality of the original InstaComposer, then you'll feel right at home here. InstaComposer 2 is an evolution of those concepts, so the basic controls are the same as before. Choose a key and scale, then automatically create a chord sequence here. Click the big Go button to create MIDI riffs, chords and beats for all six tracks. or highlight individual tracks for generation. Tweak the note generation algorithms with the many controls here, including note probability, density, complexity, repetitions, motifs, harmony, and variation. There's also a new sustain parameter to play with. You can change the mode of tracks so that they output MIDI content that's more suitable for melody, pads, chords, bass, drums, and more. And each track has a number of options, including octave transpose, velocity, mute, and solo. For more granular control, open the editor menu to manually change the MIDI, in the same way as you do in your door piano roll. Of course, you can export any MIDI to your door by simply dragging and dropping. Let's look in more detail at some of the new features of InstaComposer 2. When you're selecting your root key and scale, there are now 22 interesting new scales, in addition to the ones already included within the original InstaComposer. These include both widely used scale types and more esoteric scales from across the globe.
There are also different generation modes, activated by these small buttons above the main Go control. These include a button for melody variation, that keeps the note timings but changes the melody, and another for randomising note velocities. Presets have been expanded and updated. You can also load presets from the original version of Instacomposer. The presets will often load with multiple scenes, accessible just here. These are variations and alternates of the same song idea, organised into up to eight different snapshots. These scenes are very useful when you're generating your own ideas and content, allowing you to copy and paste ideas and experiment by editing them without overwriting your original MIDI. You can reset, load, save, copy, cut, paste, and export all or some of the tracks from each scene. There's also a MIDI Learn option. Click it to learn a MIDI key switch for selecting scenes on the fly without having to click on the interface. There are two new modes, Drums and Pad 2. Pad 2 mode combines the best elements of chord and pad modes, creating a fuller sound by focusing on chords in the lower register and allowing for more melodic movement in the higher register. As a side note, there are also three new options you can use with Pad 2 and chord modes. Use Inversion, Add Bass Note, and Wide Mode. Have a listen to how these options affect the chord shapes. Drum Mode is a brand new addition to Instacomposer 2. Allowing automatic generation of drum lines in a wide variety of styles, time signatures and complexity. Sub modes include Default, Half Time, Double Time, Double Time with a leading snare and Dance, suitable for more electronic genres. The Auto Mode takes the settings that you choose in the Pre-Gen Mod section here, and works out a suitable drum line automatically. Of course, all drum instrument mapping is slightly different, so you can always go into the edit menu and adjust the notes. Or just use Instacomposer 2 to create rough drum ideas and then export them to your door for tweaking. Bypass Instacomposer's processing here to listen. It's worth noting that if you transpose your MIDI using this control, the drum MIDI won't be changed, and will continue to trigger the same keys or drum pads.
This new section in the bottom right of the interface is now a handy chord helper, displaying the notes for any selected chord. There's a couple more enhancements to mention, like the ability to lock MIDI channels across presets, and behind the scenes, the algorithms that generate the MIDI have been refined, and overall CPU performance has been improved. Of course, here I've only had the chance to scratch the surface of Instacomposer 2 and shown you a handful of the controls in action. There's much more information in the manual, with full explanations of all the editing controls at the bottom of the interface, and the global options of the main menu. But don't take my word for it, experiment with the plugin using your own sounds, download a free trial version for yourself, and experience the ultimate inspiration of Instacomposer 2. Thanks for watching.